This is code.org, and we are in foodtruck.java. Declare and initialize a static variable called business name to Project Mercury Pastries Food Truck. All right, so they must mean over here in foodtruck.java. Oh, yeah. And so, and initialize a static variable. Okay, so we already have this up here. And throughout this lesson, we've seen, and we can see an example right here, use your resources, how to declare a static variable. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. All right, what do we got? So we are having this be public, which means you can access it directly without a get or a set method. It is the access specifier. That being said, if you didn't get all that, you'll see what I mean. Static. Now, what's the data type? Well, it's going to be a string, right? Because it's words. And what's the variable name? They asked for business name. And they asked us to go ahead and initialize it as well. So we have a few options for initializing it. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, well, if I can, do it right here. So let's go ahead and write. Oh, I'm not writing all this. Copy. All right, bam. OK, now what? Print the value of the business name for each food truck object. All right, so, oh, yeah, we have two food trucks. So I'm just going to do a system.out.println. And then I'm going to just copy this name and do a business name. We should be able to print it directly because it is public. And then I'm going to copy this, guys, right? All I'm doing, though, system out, print ln, ln's new line, get in these business names. Let's see. Oh, notice it's the same, which is expected. It's set over here. All right, let's see, too. I think we can even do. And the reason we can, well, the reason we can do it directly as well is because it is declared as static meaning it is going to be the same variable no matter how many classes we create. It's set to the same thing. Change the value of business name to a different name. Then print the value of business name for each food truck object. Okay. And we can change it directly as well because it is static. So I'm going to do... Well, we could do this a hundred different ways. Why don't I show you what I mean, though? Is that dot... Uh, Hello. I can do it this way. World. Now I'm going to print these again. I'm just going to copy and paste this code. And guess what it's going to be? World twice. And the reason is, is because it's the exact same value. It doesn't matter. And what's assigned last is this. It is hello briefly, right? If I also print them both, right? Aaron's and Rosie's right here, they'll also both be hello, because they are all assigned at the same time. You are accessing, even though this is a different class object name, it's the same variable. It's saved in the same place. That is also why when I do this and access the class directly, it's going to work just fine. Pretty cool. Onward.